Hi, thanks for joining us on the range today. Hey, today we're going to talk a little bit about how to run the 1911. This classic gun has been around since, well, 1911, and it's still very popular and very, very useful today. However, it's a little bit different than our striker fire guns. Uh, it's got a couple more operations, and yet it's really not that hard to run. So I want to give you a couple tips to consider and look at when you're running the 1911. Now, just like our striker fire guns and anything else, we want to have a nice high grip on the gun. However, you're going to notice a few things that are different. First off, I have this device on the grip. This is a grip safety. Now, the XD also has this, but these are the only guns that have it. So this is important that we get a nice high grip on this gun because if I do not depress this, the gun will not fire. So I get a nice high grip on the beaver tail. I want to make sure that I can put my strong side thumb down the top of that and be able to operate that safety. Now my support side hand, just like any other gun, I want to have forward like this, nice and high underneath the trigger guard with my thumbs pointed down range. My strong side thumb will then ride the safety, but I don't want to be able, I don't want to get caught up in it. Just in the event that somehow during recoil or during motion, I somehow safety the gun. So I need to be conscious of where my hands are. This hand is about a 45 degree angle underneath here. And as I point in, I can depress the safety. At any point in time, I can get my thumb underneath there and bring it back up. So as a rule of thumb, what we look at is this. We always safety the weapon whenever it's in the holster. This is considered to be cocked and locked. So as the gun is safe, I bring it out of the holster, bring it into my high position here. As my hands start to melt together, my weapon is pointed down range, and as I present, I can take the safety off the gun. Now I can run it. Once again, I've got a good grip, so my grip safety is depressed. My right finger is on the thumb, my right thumb is on the safety. I can press and then run the gun. When I'm done, safety the weapon, clear my garment, and holster up. So while it's not drastically different, the fact that I have two mechanical safeties on this gun is something a little bit more that we are used to with our traditional striker fire guns. Nothing earth shattering, but something to consider. So once again, nice high grip on the gun. The higher I am to the bore axis, the less muzzle flip I'm going to get. Two, my thumb is on that, operates that safety, and I ride the safety. Boom, right here. I run the gun, do what I need to do. When the party's over, safety's up and holster the gun. The 1911 is a classic. It's not that difficult to learn how to use. A little bit different manual alarms, but definitely worth learning. So I hope this was helpful. If you have questions, let us know. Until I see you again, stay safe.